fight. It's a rivalry game, in which case you throw out the records, you throw out the stats, whatever team, whatever team wins this one, it does not matter. The records or whatever, whoever is the better team tonight will win this one in such a rivalry game. Dip off is won by the Bearcats, and we are underway here at the Myers Center as a steal for Drury, and back the other way, a block. Brock Wakefield gets rejected by Mitch Cano on the other end. Dre with the ball. Shung looking for an inbounder. Does get into Logan Applegate. And he goes out of bounds. Gano will bring it into the front court for SBU. Gano to Franklin. He finds Gano, and his layup is good, and SBU has the first two for the night. Wakefield with it, being guarded by R.J. Crawford. He'll hand it off to Applegate. Try to find a cutter, but could not get it to Riley Nager, and it goes out of bounds. Ball back to SBU. Turnover number two already for the Panthers. Crawford to Aiden Stone. Now Mitch Gano to Quinn Nelson. Stone to Gano. Fakes a three. Find Stone with 10 on the shot clock. Now it's Crawford. Bounce pass Franklin. He'll post up his man. Fakes, shoots, and scores. He took Adam Moore to school there and makes it 4 0 SBU. Nager with it down low. He spins, shoots, and misses. Rebounded over Franklin, who outlet it to Quinn Nelson. The Ozark graduate into the front court to Gano. Now a pass deflected out of bounds. Last touched by Riley Nager, a 6'7 junior from Festus, Missouri. Gano. Inbounds it to Nelson. He fakes. He shoots. And he scores. Bearcats out to a 7-0 run to start. Applegate to his left to Wakefield. Now it's to Moore. Riley Nager now with it. Up top to Shelton. Seven on the shot clock. Applegate, a three. Almost banked it in, no good. Rebound to Nelson, he'll go to Gano. Nelson thought about a jumper. Now it's Gano. To Stone. Noah Franklin a catch and shoot three. No good. Rebound to Aiden Stone. Fresh 20 for the Bearcats. Franklin to his left to Nelson with 10 on the shot clock. Crawford. A pull up mid range jumper, and that's good. Score at 9 0. 17.07 left in the first. Wakefield to his right. Catch and shoot three. No good by Adam Moore. And it's last touch by him. Nine nothing Bearcats to start. As Preston Cook checks in. For Drury, a 6'4 graduate from Auburn, Alabama. Stone to Nelson. Now it's Gano. He lost it. Out of bounds. Last touch by Brock Wakefield. Down low. Gano to Crawford on the inbound. That's no good. Wakefield the rebound the other way for Drury. 
He goes inside, his floater left short. Long rebound to Riley Nager, fresh 20 for the Panthers. On the drive, here's a floater that's up and good by Quentin Schoen. And Drury is now on the board. A two there by the freshman from Nevada, Missouri. Good note. Nelson with it. Took a note. Franklin. His shot is good. Eleven two SBU. Here's a three in the corner that is no good by Preston Cook. Bearcats the other way. Crawford. Fakes, goes inside, his shot is no good. Riley Nagy with the rebound. Into the front court goes Logan Applegate. Applegate fakes, goes inside, his shot off glass is good. Score now 11 to four in favor of SBU. Going out to his left to Crawford. Franklin gets it to Crawford. RJ looking for someone to pass it to. Does get it to Gano with a shot clock at eight. With six, Gano hop step in the lane, puts up and good. And now a timeout is called by Chris Foster. And he is giving an earful to the official. And look at that, the official walking over to him, explaining that call. Foster is fired up, and right now SBU is on fire to start. Six of nine shooting star for SBU has them a 13 to four lead with 14.55 left in the first half. Back after this on the GLBC Sports Network. Thirteen to four, the score in favor of SBU. Like I made mention right before we went to break, SBU shooting sixty-seven percent from the field, six of nine, fifty percent from three, one for two, and they have yet to attempt a free throw. The leading scores right now for SBU are Mitch Gano and Noah Franklin Gano with four points on two of two shooting, and Noah Franklin four points on two of three shooting. As for Drury, they're shooting at 29% from the field, at 2 for 7, 0 for from beyond the arc, 0 for 3, and they too have yet to attempt a free throw. And all four points belong to Logan Applegate for the Panthers. It is Panther ball after the timeout. Nager with it. He goes to Applegate. Back to Nager. Up top to Shelton. He goes in, bounces. And Preston Cook loses it out of bounds. It's swatted out of his hands. Ball back to Drury with 10 left on the shot clock. And bounce goes to Riley Nager. Now it's to Shelton with three. He tries a three and gets fouled. Actually, check that that is Logan Applegate at the line for three. Say, from up top, Shelton and Applegate kind of have the same hairstyle. Kind of a half-hearted curly fro, but 
One wears number two and one wears number four. And number four is at the line for three. So far, he's knocked down two of three. Adam Moore checks back in for Drury. One more for Applegate, and it is good. So Logan Applegate goes three for three from the line, and he has a <clears throat> he has accounted for all seven points for Drury. 13 to 7 the score. McMillan to Bailey Crawford. Now Noah Franklin. Crawford a catch and shoot three. A little too strong. Aiden Stone the rebound. Fresh winning for the Bearcats. Franklin spins, shoots, and misses. Tip, rebound, Tigano, another fresh 20 for SBU. McMillan drives, goes to Franklin, fakes a three. Back to McMillan, 4-3. No good. Rebound to Drury. Cook in the corner. Back to the wing to Trey Lewis. He goes in, floater high, off glass, no good. Rebound to Gano. He wants to push. Goes to McMillan across the paint. Now it's Bailey Crawford. He tries a three, no good. Rebound and a foul is going to be called against SBU. And it's going to be against Aiden Stone. That's his first. Now two fouls for SBU, zero for Drury thus far. Jerry Abushanab now checks in for SBU. Abushanab, a 6'6 freshman forward from Glendale Heights, Illinois. Lewis to his left to Shelton. Now it's Adam Moore with it up top to Trey Lewis. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Shelton driving on Crawford. Moore with four. Noah Franklin hits the deck, and the layup is missed by Moore. Crawford to McMillan, 4-3. No good. Rebound tips and control to Drury. They have a five on four if they hurry. Applegate goes inside. His shot is good. The Panthers themselves on a bit of a run here. It's now 13 to nine. Gano on the cut. His shot is missed, long rebound taken by Moore and he throws it off of Franklin and it is out of bounds, last touch by Franklin. Gwen Nelson, Drennan Dickens and Brandon Eccles check in for SBU. As for Drury, Elijah Whitley and Trey Lewis check in. Actually, check that. It was Brock Wakefield that checked in there. 12.07 left in the first, 13 to 9 the score. SBU with the lead. So far, all nine points have been scored by Drury's Logan Applegate. And now we're going to have a foul on SBU. And it will go to Drennan Dinkins. That is his first. And that will draw us to a timeout here in Bolivar. SBU up 13-9 to with 11 minutes and 58 seconds left in the first. Back with more after this on the GLBC Sports Network.
Matthew Frizzell back with you here at the Meyer Center. 13 to 9 the score. SBU shooting at 38% from the field, 6 of 16, 17% from three, one for six. And they have yet to attempt a free throw, have the Bearcats. Still their leading scorers are Mitch Gano and Noah Franklin with four points each. And Drury right now at three for 10 from the field for 30%, 0 for three from three, and at three for three from the free throw line for 100%. SBU gets a steal, Abushnov to Dinkins. His layup is no good, but he is fouled. And the freshman from South Iron will go to the line for two. The freshman who went to school at South Iron from Annapolis, Missouri, will go to the line for two. Foul goes to Brock Wakefield, by the way, also from Annapolis, Missouri, and went to South Iron. Dinkinson's first of two is good. Drennan Dinkins, a 94% free throw shooter coming in. 64 of 68. One more for Dinkins, and it is good. Fifteen to nine, eleven forty-eight left in the first half. Lewis with it. Now it's Cook to his left. Whitley to the right. Three, no good by Wakefield. SBU the other way with McMillan. The sophomore guard from public goes to Quentin Nelson for three. That's good. Eighteen to nine, the score. Eleven eighteen left in the first. Willie to his left. Lewis, a three in response, is up and good. Trey Lewis makes it eighteen to twelve. Abushanam to Dinkins. This floater high off glass. Good. Twenty to twelve. The score. Ten forty-five left in the first. Whitley down low. His shot is blocked. A lot of contact. No call. Bearcats the other way with a five on four. Abushanam down low, and he. Gets the ball poked out of his hands by Preston Cook. Quinn Shun and Riley Nager check back in for Drury. Trenton Dinkins will inbound it with 24 to shoot on the shot clock. Nelson gets the inbound. He goes inside, dumps it off to McMillan. His shot is blocked, but a foul is going to be called. On Riley Nager. For Nager, that's his second. Or for Drury, that's their second. For Riley Nager, that's his first, I should say. First of two by McMillan is up and good. McMillan, a solid free throw shooter in limited attempts, 7 of 10 for 70%. Second one is good. And the score is 22 to 12. Whitley with it being guarded by Dinkins, freshman on freshman. Now it's Lewis to Wakefield. And he loses it out of bounds. Mitch Gano now checks in for Drew McMillan. As Jerry Bouchonab will inbound it for SBU. And now Logan Applegate will check in. Logan Applegate. 22-12 the score, 10 9 left in the first. Gano to Nelson. Now it's Dinkins. Nelson, all the way up top to Dinkins, to Echols, no, a pass, and the layup is up and good. Twelve point lead for SBU, 24 to 12. Nagger to Applegate, his three, no good, long rebound to Mitch Gano. 
Cano tries to get it to Dinkins, but that pass intercepted by Elijah Whitley. Dre the other way. And now we have a whistle away from the ball and a foul. And it will go to Brandon Eccles. That's his first, SBU's fourth. RJ Crawford checks in for SBU. And for Dre, now in is Rice Piper. 6'4 sophomore from Hartville, Missouri. Applegate. Nager a three. Banked in. Wow. Riley Nager just making sure the bank is open at 818 Central Standard Time. Makes it 24 to 15. There's a pass and hit it for RJ Crawford. Knocked out of bounds by Rice Piper. Noah Franklin checks in for Brandon Eccles. Gano will inbound it with the basket to his left. Franklin to Gano. His shot, no good. Rebound to Drury. Outlet it intended for Wakefield, and it goes out of bounds off of Wakefield. Nine-point game, 24 to 15. At one point, it was 24 to 12, and that is when SBU had their biggest lead. Franklin for three. That's no good. RJ Crawl for the rebound. Fresh 20 for SBU. Up top to Nelson. He goes in, and he is whacked hard going to the basket. And Nelson will go to the line for two. Foul goes to Rice Piper. That's his first. And Quinn Nelson at the line, 4-2. Nelson, a 90% free throw shooter, 43 of 48. First of two is good. Nelson, SBU's leading score with seven points so far. Second free throw good by Nelson. He now has eight. Back to a double-digit game, 26 to 15. Eight minutes and change left in the first half. Wakefield to Applegate. Now to Shelton. Fakes a three. Quinn Nelson on him. He spins off him, shoots, and scores. Good individual effort there by Shelton. Makes it once again a nine-point game, 26-17. Gano to Franklin. Now it's Dinkins. And now Quinn Nelson is pushed to the ground by Riley Nager. That's his second. Both teams now with four fouls, and both teams will now head to their bench as we take a timeout here at the Myers Center. 26 to 17, the score in favor of SBU with seven minutes and 35 seconds left in the first half. Back with more after this on the GLBC Sports Network.
Matthew Frizzell back with you here at the Meyer Center. 26 to 17 the score. Mitch Gunnell will inbound with 20 on the shot clock after the timeout. Both teams with four fouls. SBU with four timeouts left in this game. Drury with three. Gano posting up. Preston Cook finds R.J. Crawford in the corner for three. That's no good. Quinn Shun the rebound for the Panthers. Applegate up top to Cook. And he is fouled. Foul goes to Mitch Gano. That's his second. Bearcats fifth. And that'll force Gano to go to the bench. As Drink Millen off the bench checks in for the senior guard from Sweeney, Georgia. Preston Cook back up top to Quinn Shelton. Guarded by Nelson. Cook with it in the corner with 10 to shoot. Rifle to the wing for a three that is missed by number three, Trey Lewis. Number three for SBU and Quinn Nelson secures the rebound and has the ball now. Franklin, a dribble, and a slam! A two-hand back scratcher dunk by Noah Franklin. Now we have a foul as Preston Cook hits the deck hard and he is not getting up. He took a hard spill to the hardwood, and the graduate guard from Auburn, Alabama, is not getting up. He now finally gets to his feet, trying to shake off that hard collision he had as he got fouled. And that foul goes to Drew McMillan. That's his first. Trying to Wayne decipher what the officials are talking about here. They may want to look and see if this is anything more than a common foul. But it doesn't look like they will look any further. And with Preston Cook injured. Rice Piper is going to have to shoot the free throws. Piper, the 6'4 sophomore guard from Hartville, Missouri, averaging 2.8 points per game. First free throw, good. One more for Piper, and it is good. Once again, a nine-point game. We've kind of been teetering around this game being a nine-point to an 11-point game. Here in the past, so two, three minutes and change. Nelson to Crawford. Now it's Dinkins. To Franklin. Seven on the shot clock. Crawford dribbles in, shoots and scores. Thirty to nineteen. Shelton the three. That's good. Quentin Shelton makes it an eight-point game. Thirty to twenty-two. SBU. Nelson to Franklin, fakes the pass to Nelson, goes inside and slams it home. Franklin! 32-22, two dunks now for Noah Franklin. Here's a three in response that's no good by Applegate, rebound to the Bearcats. Crawford down low, shakes a man. Faking, 
And now it goes to Franklin. Pass fake. Now it's McMillan on a bomb from three. Bang! Timeout, Drury. 35 to 22. Bearcats with the lead with 5.02 left in the first. the score, 5.02 left in the first half. Bearcats with the lead, now enjoying their largest lead of the night at 13 points. Right now, Quinn Nelson and Noah Franklin are leading the way for SBU. Nelson and Franklin each with eight. Willie with it, he'll go to his right to Moore. Now it's Trey Lewis to his right. Shelton up top to Wakefield. Ten on the shot clock. Moore to Shelton. Five and four. Shelton lost it with one. Now it's blocked by Nelson. Throws up a prayer and does not draw a rim. Great defensive possession there. Great individual defense there by Quinn Nelson. 35-22, 35-22, Dinkins into the front court, gets a double screen between Franklin, or check that, Stone and Crawford. Now it's R.J. Crawford with it now, with 16 on the shot clock. He goes inside, shot off glass, no good. Rebound to Adam Moore. Dre pushing the tempo up the floor. Breakaway layup, missed by Trey Lewis. Bearcats the other way. Crawford, McMillan, now Dinkins. McMillan gets a screen from Stone. Good two-man game, and Stone lays it up and in. A 15-point game for the Bearcats, 35-22. Whitley, a three in the corner. That's good. Elijah Whitley, the 6'2 freshman from Springfield, Missouri, makes it 37 to 25. Dinkins with Whitley on him, goes to Nelson. Stone sets the screen for Nelson. Oh, good pass, and Stone can't make the contested layup. Loose ball. Players collide. McMillan somehow keeps it in. Stone now goes to Crawford, who tries a three and knocks it down. That was as broken as a broken play can get, and it led to a three by R.J. Crawford that makes it 40 to 25. More with it with 10 to shoot. Posting up Aiden Stone. Pass to the wing. Whitley a three. Left it short. Bearcats the other way. Dinkins to Nelson. 4-3. No good. Ball out of bounds. Last touch by Aiden Stone. Jerry Bushnob and Noah Franklin check in. For SBU, as Preston Cook also checks in for Drury. 2.16 left in the first final media timeout of the first. And the Bearcats hold a 40-25 to lead. Back after this on the GLBC Sports Network.
Alongside our camera operator, Jermaine Lewis, and our director, Jack Pitts, Matthew Frizzell back with you here at the Meyer Sports Center on the campus of Southwest Baptist University in Baltimore, Missouri. Right now, the Bearcats of Southwest Baptist University are enjoying a 15-point lead of 40-25. to 25. SBU shooting a 48% from the field, 15 of 31, 33% from three, four for 12, and are a perfect six for six from the free throw line. Drury right now shooting a 35% from the field, eight of 23. They too are also four for 12 from beyond the arc for 33%. And they too are perfect from the free throw line. They are five for five. Moore with it. He drives, goes to his left. Adam Moore with nine on the shot clock. Stops, rifles a pass to the corner, or the wing, I should say, for a three that's missed by Lewis. Rebound to Nelson, he'll outlet it to Dinkins. Nelson, so far with eight points. Him and Noah Franklin, the co leaders in points scored for their team. Looks like Dre is now playing in a zone. A 1-3-1. Dinkins with seven to shoot. Tries a three and knocks it down. Drennan Dinkins now with seven points off the bench. 43-25 to 25 the score. 110 left in the first. Here's a three-point attempt to response by Moore that has missed. Ball to bounds, last touched by the Panthers. And now Coach Sheehy will use one of his four timeouts with one minute and three seconds left in the first. His team up 43 to 25. Sixty-three seconds left in the first half. Forty-three twenty-five. The score. Quinn Nelson and Noah Franklin right now with eight points each for SBU, and right behind them, two players with seven points each. That's that's R.J. Crawford and Drennan Dinkins. Dre right now. Their leading score is. Logan Applegate, he has nine points on three of six shooting and what's been a cold shooting night thus far for the Panthers. Nelson, a pull-up mid-range jumper, no good. Franklin, the offensive rebound and a fresh 20 for SBU. Franklin to McMillan. His floater, up and good. Shot clock and game clock are identical. Panthers will hold for one last shot, and they do have the possession error. So a chance at a buy one, get one free. Cook, pull up mid-range jumper, left short, and we have a rebound and a foul called on Drury. Foul goes to Adam Moore. That's his first. And he may have thought SBU was in the bonus, so he kind of just rolled the ball towards the other end of the court, but nothing was called of it. That's only team foul number five for Drury. Gano gets the inbound with two, with one. Gano, a fake and a shot. The buzzer, that's no good. And that will end half number one. And a half in which SBU leads five.
Logan Applegate will throw in to Brock Wakefield, and we are underway here in the second half as Dre shoots to our basket left. Nager with it. His shot over Noah Franklin is up and good. 45-27. Nelson to Franklin. Now it's Gano. Thought about going to R.J. Crawford, but instead goes to Crawford in the corner. Now it's Nelson to Stone. He goes inside. And it's called for a travel. Trey Lewis will walk it, now jog it into the front court. Mitch Gano picks him up. Neger with it. Now to Lewis. Bounce pass Moore. Lewis once again to Moore. Now shown with 12 to shoot. Wakefield. Down low to Moore. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Moore, nice spin move and the score. Franklin took a note. Aiden Stone with it in the corner. Gets the ball knocked out of his hands by Adam Moore. Now Quinn Nelson will inbound it. Right in front of Bailey Crawford and Jerry Abushanov, who's sitting on the SBU bench. Nope. Goes to Crawford. Now it's Franklin. His shot off glass. No good, but he is fouled. And Noah Franklin, the redshirt freshman forward, will go to the line for two. Franklin's first of two is good. Franklin, a 66% free throw shooter. Preston Cook checks in for Drury, replacing Riley Nager. One more for Franklin. And it is good. So the big man goes two for two from the line, makes it 47 to 29, 18 point game. With 18.22 left in the second. Lewis to his left to Moore. And before the pass, we have a foul. And it's going to be on Noah Franklin. That's his first. Both teams now with a foul each in the second half. 18 minutes and 13 seconds left of it. Shown with it. To his left, wide open, 4-3. Adam Moore left it short. Long rebound taken to Brock Wakefield. With the fresh 20, he shoots an air ball on the mid-range jumper attempt. Nelson the other way for SBU. Franklin to Stone, and he lost the ball. Panthers the other way. Lewis on the drive is fouled. And it will go to Aiden Stone. That's his second. 21 seconds to shoot for Drury. It's inbounded to Adam Moore, posting up Noah Franklin. He gets doubled, avoids the double team, and scores. Forty-seven, thirty-one. Drury showing some life here to start this second half. Off and out to a 6-2 run. Nelson to Gano, his layup up and good. Nelson. 49-31, here's a blow by and a three that is up and good by Quinn Shelton.
49 to 34, 16 40 left in the second. Nelson drives in, bounces to Stone, who can't corral the pass, and Aiden Stone not having his best stretch of basketball, and he'll go to the bench. Jerry Bushinov checks in, along with Brandon Eccles. Also in for Drury is Logan Applegate. Forty-nine to thirty-four, sixteen twenty left in the second. Shown with it, he bounces to Lewis. Out of his right, a catch and shoot three attempt is no good by Moore, but he is fouled. And Adam Moore, the six-six senior from St. Charles, Missouri, will go to the line for three as Brandon Eccles picks up his second foul. First of three, just barely grazes the rim. Adam Moore, not a prolific free throw shooter at 58%. Knocks the second one down. One more. And it's left short. He goes one for three. Now a 14-point game, 49 to 35. Abushanab to Nelson. That pass deflected, and it's thrown off of Nelson. And that's Nelson's second turnover of the game. And that will draw a timeout here in Bolver. 49 to 35 to score, 15-55 left in the second half. Back after this on the GLVC Sports Network. Fifteen fifty-five left in the second half as we welcome you back here to the Myers Center on the campus of Southwest Baptist University in Bolivar, Missouri. It is a jury ball out of the timeout. Jury out to a 10-4 run to start this second half to drop this margin down to 14 in favor of SVU at one point. Drury was down by 20. As a matter of fact, it was at halftime when SBU had their largest lead of the game against the Panthers at 20. Trey Lewis brings it into the front court for the Panthers. They'll go to Moore. Back to Lewis. Now it's Cook. Preston Cook being guarded by Bushnob. Bounces to Applegate. Lewis with 15 to shoot. Moore with 12, goes to Cook. Shelton spins, picks up his dribble, and bounces to Cook with four. Cook with two, shoots over Nelson. Can't convert, SBU the other way. Crawford, thought about a three, doesn't shoot it. Now he drives baseline, and he steps on the baseline. Turnover number seven for the Bearcats. Two subs in now for Drury as Rice Piper and Brock Wakefield check in. Brock 
15-10 left in the second half. Piper with it. Her sophomore guard from Hartville, Missouri. Ball goes to the wing to Wakefield. Now on the opposite wing, here is a three that is good by Preston Cook. And now a timeout called by SBU. What once was a 20-point lead has now shrunk to 11. 49 to 38 to score in favor of SBU. Back after this on the Great Lakes Valley Conference Sports Network. Here at the Meyer Center, swinging Sweet Caroline, singing Sweet Caroline, I should say. Fans are having a good time, and right now SBU having a good time, but Drury trying to impact that a little bit. At one point, what once was a 20-point game, it's now an 11-point game. It's 49 to 38. Bearcats with the lead. So far, Drury has jumped out to a 13-4 advantage in this second half. Gano to Dinkins. Now Nelson, a fake. He goes to Crawford, extra pass Gano. Pass fake in a three by Gano, no good. Rebound to Trey Lewis. Piper sets the screen. RJ Crawford stays on Trey Lewis. Now it's Cook. Wakefield now to Applegate. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Lewis behind the back. Goes to Wakefield with four. Wakefield tries to get to Lewis. That pass deflected and stolen by Quinn Nelson. Get out the other way. Tries to get it to a Bouchonab, but that pass deflected off the hand of Logan Applegate. Drew McMillan checks in for SBU. And out to Crawford. And now it's Dinkins. And he is fouled. The jury foul on number four, Logan Applegate is in first. Second team foul. Logan Applegate picks up the foul. That's his first. Drew now with two fouls in this half. Southwest Baptist University with three. Crawford gets the inbound. He'll go to McMillan. Now it's Dinkins. Crawford to McMillan. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Gano loses the ball momentarily. Nelson goes to Gano. His layup, no good. Drury the other way. And that pass deflected into the Drury bench by Mitch Gano. Bound to Trey Lewis, he'll go to Rice Piper. Here's a three that is badly missed by Logan Applegate. Offensive rebound to Piper. He goes back over there and is blocked from behind by RJ Crawford. Ball to bounce. Last touch by SBU. And now Noah Franklin checks in. SBU for a moment there was going with all five guards on the floor with R.J. Crawford being the tallest guy at 6'4". 
Applegate a pull up, mid range jumper, no good. Long rebound to Quinn Nelson. He goes in, goes to no, and a blocking foul is called. Preston Cook picks up the foul. Both teams now with three fouls each in this half. Quinn Shell now checks in for Logan Applegate. Gano to Franklin. Now it's Nelson. McMillan wide open for three. Yes. Bearcats needed that badly, 52 to 38. Lewis to Cook for three. That's no good, and it goes over the backboard out of bounds. Adam Moore and Riley Nager now checking for Drury. And now back in for Drury is Logan Applegate. Go you know, into the front court. 12.38 and counting left in the second half. And a traveling violation is called. Noah Franklin called for the travel. Twelve three left in the second. 52-38 the score. Here's Shelton on the drive. His shot off glass is good. Back to a 12-point game, 52 to 40. McMillan to Nelson. Now Franklin with it. 13 on the shot clock. Nelson. Drives in, stops, goes to McMillan. And with one on the shot clock, a far away mid-range jumper is good. Tough shot by the sophomore guard from Republic, Missouri. Shown with it. He goes to Applegate. Back it goes to Shown. Cook. And Egger, bounce pass, Moore. He's doubled. Shakes off the double team, misses the first one, misses the second one. And the ball is taken by Dinkins. SBU the other way. Gano to McMillan, now Nelson. Gano. Posting up his man, misses the shot over the contest of Logan Applegate. Dre the other way. Applegate with it now. They go to the wing to Nager. Trying to spin off Gano. Size mismatch there. Moore with it. He drives baseline. And he misses the jam. He gets his own, however. Shot clock hasn't reset. Now it does. And it leads to a layup that is up and good by Quinn Shelton. Twelve-point game, fifty-four to forty-two. Gano to McMillan. Now Nelson. A step back mid-range jumper by Nelson is pure. Nelson now the third Bearcat to score in double figures, and now a turnover. SBU the other way. McMillan for three. Almost banked it in. Rebound to Adam Moore. Cook with it. Pass to Applegate, now in the corner. And Ager a three. That's no good, twice off the rim. Ball to SBU and Drennan Dinkins. Will pass to McMillan. Or check that, take a note, who will slow down the tempo.
Gano on the drive. His shot's no good, but he's fouled. And Mitch Gano will go to the line for two. Foul goes to Adam Moore. That's his second. And that will draw a timeout here at the Myers Center. Jury has brought it back to within 12. It's 56, or within 14, I should say. It's 56 to 42, SBU. Back after this on the GLBC Sports Network. the score, 9 minutes and 19 seconds left in the second half. In the second half, there is a big shot differential between the two teams. Drury not shooting it particularly well in the second half, only shooting at 7 of 18 from the field for 39%, but SBU shooting at 50% from the field, but I've only shot the ball 8 times, and they're 4 for 8. Mitch Gannot at the line for two after the timeout. Gannot was fouled by Adam Moore on a shot attempt. That's his second. Drury's a fourth of the half, and Gannot knocks down the first free throw. Mitch Gannot, a 71% free throw shooter. One more for Gannot, and it's left short. Rebound to Brock Wakefield. Trey Lewis will bring it up for the Panthers. Wakefield with it now. He goes to Shelton. Back to Lewis. Catch and shoot three. No good. Long rebound tipped into the hands of Trey Lewis. Fresh 20 for the Panthers. Lewis on the drive. Rifles one to the corner for a three. That is good. Preston Cook knocks down the tray and makes it a 12-point game. 57 to 45. Gano with it now. Crawford to Dinkins. SU going with the small ball lineup here. Dinkins, a contested three. No good. Rebound to the Panthers. Shown into the front court. Goes inside. His layup is good. Now a 10 point game, 57 to 47. Gano goes inside, contested layup up and good. Back to a 12 point game, 59 to 47, under eight to play in the game. Barring overtime, Trey Lewis to his right to Shelton. Now it's Nagger in the post and his shot is up and good. And the foul. Foul will go to Mitch Cano. That's his third. And an and one free throw is upcoming for Riley Nager after this media timeout. 59-49, the score in favor of SBU. Back after this on the GLBC Sports Network.
Matthew Frizzell back with you here at the Myers Center alongside our director Jack Pitts and our camera operator Jermaine Lewis. Seven minutes and 39 seconds left in the second half. Score 59 to 49. But Riley and Nager right now at the line for an and one free throw. Currently with seven points and a chance at A and a chance to make this a single digit game in which he does something we have not seen in quite a while. At the start of this second half, it was 45 to 25. SBU. It's now 59 to 50. What once was a 20 point game is now a 9 point game. Dinkins, a fake, and a wild shot. And we have a whistle and a foul. It'll go to Adam Moore. And it's in the act of shooting. And Dinkins will shoot two. That's now the Panthers' fifth foul. Dinkins' first of two is good. Drennan Dinkins with eight points off the bench. For SBU, the freshman averages just under 10 a game at 9.7 points per game. Lewis with it. He goes to the corner for a three that is missed by Cook. Now we have a whistle and a foul on a Quinn Nelson. First foul for Nelson. Now five fouls each aside. The bounce goes to Adam Moore. Going down low, getting doubled. Still puts up a shot, and it's up and good. Tough finish by Adam Moore. And it's now a nine-point game with under seven to play in the second. McMillan to Nelson, 15 on the shot clock. Nelson drives inside. His layup is good. Quinn Nelson right now filling up the stat sheet for SBU. 12 points, six boards, three assists, one steal, and one block. Lewis with 14 on the shot clock has Drew McMillan on him. Now it's Wakefield. Pull up mid range jumper by Wakefield is good. Once again, a nine point game, 63 to 54. Aiden Stone with it. RJ Crawford right in front of the SBU bench. Dribbles to the top and goes to Nelson. Crawford with 12 to shoot. Spins, shoots, and scores. Nice move by RJ Crawford. Crawford now with nine. There's a lamp in response that is missed by Trey Lewis. SBU the other way, Crawford. His lamp is up and in. Back to a 13 point game, it's 67-54. Here's Lewis on the drive. Reverse layup, up and good. So timeout called by Dre, and Coach Chris Foster has one timeout left. 5.14 left in the second, an 11-point game, 67-56 to SBU. Back after this on the Great Lakes Valley Conference Sports Network.
Five minutes and 14 seconds left in the second half. SBU with the ball out of the jury timeout. Panthers now with one timeout left and SBU with two. Jordan Dinkins, check that, Drake Millen gets to R.J. Crawford in the front court. And now it's Bailey Crawford with it, fresh off the bench for SBU. R.J. Crawford now with it, he'll go to Quinn Nelson. Now it's Aiden Stone with 10 seconds to shoot. McMillan, pull up mid-range jumper, good. Lewis on the drive. His layup is good. Number three, Lewis. 4.30 left in the second half. R.J. Crawford. Goes to Nelson. Now it's Bailey Crawford to Stone. R.J. Crawford with it with 12 to shoot. He goes inside, his shot off glass, no good. Stone the offensive rebound, his putback is up and in. Oh. 71-58, under four to play in the second half. Dalloa goes for a shot that is missed by Riley Nager, but he is fouled by Aiden Stone and will shoot two free throws after this final media timeout. Three minutes and 56 seconds left in the second half. Bearcats up 71 to 58. Three fifty-six left in the second half. SBU up seventy-one to fifty-eight. Overall, the Bearcats have shot fifty-three percent from the field, twenty-seven of fifty-one, thirty-three percent from three, six of eighteen, and ninety-two percent from the free throw line, eleven of twelve. Their leading scorer is Drew McMillan. He has off the bench fourteen points on five of eight shooting, and right behind him with twelve is Quinn. Nelson also scoring at double figures right now for SBU. RJ Crawford has 11 and Nick Franklin has 10. Riley Nager at the line for two. He currently has eight. Right now, Drury shooting 41% from the field, 22 of 54 as the first free throw is good. 30% from three, 7 of 23, and now 8 of 10 from the free throw line at 480%. One more for Nager, and it's up and good. Riley Nager, N-A-E-G-E-R. If you mispronounce that name one time, you probably get fired. Gano into the front court. He finds Crawford down low. His shot rejected on the putback, however. Franklin misses it. Dre the other way. Still time for the Panthers to mount a run and get back into this one. Here's a layup that's missed by Wakefield. That won't help. SBU the other way. Good note to Franklin. Now it's Crawford on a cut. He goes to Gano. Corner three, Mitch Gano. No good. Rebound to Brock Wakefield. Left block. This is Adam Moore. 
Lowering her shoulder, and his shot's rejected by Noah Franklin. You know, the other way to Crawford. He goes to Nelson, and Bearcats right now content to drain some shot clock. Nelson to Crawford. Now McMillan fakes a three. Now it's Nelson, and he is fouled by uh, Logan Applegate. That's his second. Both teams now with six fouls, so both teams now in the one and one bonus. Brock Wakefield checks out, and Trey Lewis checks in for Drury. Nelson will inbound it to Noah Franklin, who gets it right back to Nelson. SB with the fresh 20. Gano. Double. Finds Nelson open for three. Yes! Lewis drives, gets cut off, finds Cook. His pull up mid range jumper left short. Saved in by Lewis, but saved to Noah Franklin. Bearcats with numbers the other way. Gano to McMillan. 4 3. No good. Lewis outlets it to Drew McMillan, who tips it to RJ Crawford. Bearcats now up 14, and no rush to shoot. And right on cue, RJ Crawford. Goes to the rim and gets fouled. And R.J. Crawford will go to the line for two. Crawford, a very good free throw shooter at 87%. 33 of 38. Crawford right now in double figures with 11 points on 5 of 11 shooting. First of two is good. And that pushes the margin to 15. One more. For the guard from Houston, Texas, and he knocks it down. And so barring a 16-0 run in the next minute and change, the Bearcats will improve to 14-6 on the season as Logan Applegate gets fouled on a three-point attempt by Mitch Gano. And Applegate will go to the line for three as Mitch Gano picks up his fourth foul. Applegate on the season, a 79% free throw shooter. So SBU will improve to 14-6 and six on the season and will get back to even in conference play at 6-6 six and six as the first free throw is good. As for Drury, they will fall to 7-13 and 13 and will be 3-9 and nine in the GLVC. Second one good by Applegate. Now a sub in for Drury is Riley Nager. Looking ahead to the schedule for Drury as Applegate goes two for three from the line. Drury will hit the road and Head up to Kansas City, Missouri. And they will play the Rockhurst Hawks. That game set the tip off at 3 p.m. in Kansas City. Logan Applegate picks up the foul. That's his third. And free throws are coming for Noah Franklin. This game tonight is the first of three straight road games for Drury, they play SBU tonight, then they play at Rockhurst on Saturday, and then at Missouri s and on Thursday. Their next home game will be on February the 9th when they play Maryville. And as a matter of fact, Drury's next home game corresponds with SBU's next home game. The Bearcats' next home game is on February the 9th against McKendry.
Next free throw by Franklin is good. He goes two for two from the line. He now has 12. 78 to 62 the score. Here's a layup that's up and good by Trey Lewis and the foul. Lewis now with nine and a chance at 10. Foul goes to Drennan Dinkins. That's his second. Both teams now with eight fouls. Riley Nager checks back in for Drury. Free throw good by Lewis, and he has now the fourth different Panther to score in double figures. Quinn Schoen right now leading the way for Drury with 14 points. Logan Applegate behind him with 11. And now the duo of Riley Nager and Trey Lewis each have 10. And now we have a foul. Applegate picks up his fourth. And one and one free throws are coming for Drennan Dinkins. Adam Moore now checks in. Dinkins for a one and one. Knocks down the first one. This kid, especially at the line, is something special. 94% free throw shooter. Seventy-nine-sixty-five. the score. One more by Dinkins, it's up and good. He's too good for a jinx. Lewis to his right, Schoen fakes a three. Goes inside, layup no good. Rebound to Drennan Dinkins. And now we have some pushing and shoving and now Dinkins and Moore having some words. And now a technical foul is gonna be called. They may give double T's here. We saw one technical foul be called, and with just 65 seconds left, this game has boiled over, and they're more likely going to go to the replay monitor here. It was a tie-up between Adam Moore and Drennan Dinkins. Coincidentally, both teams, guys wearing uniform number 11. Now the official relief really shushing away Coach Clark Sheehy. Coach Sheehy wanting an explanation. So it's a jump ball. And a technical on RJ Crawford. So Quinn Shelton will shoot the tees, and the technical foul goes to R.J. Crawford, who must have said the magic word or something. I thought if anybody was going to get a tee as the free throw was missed by Shelton, if anyone was going to be going to get a tee, I should say, it would have been either Drennan Dinkins of SBU or Adam Moore for Jury, or even both. But nonetheless, it's two free throw misses by Quinn Shelton. Well, as the old saying goes, ball don't lie. Nope. Gets to Crawford. Trey applying some full court pressure here. And now a foul is going to be called, and RJ Crawford will go to the line. Should be for a one and one. Unless they say the ball went out of bounds. And yes, they do say it went out of bounds off of Drury. Okay. Fun issue they called a foul, but. Gannot will throw in and get it into Dinkins. One minute, one minute Dinkins now gets fouled and will go to the line for two. 
Applegate picks up his fifth foul. Applegate fouls out and Dinkins at the line up 4-2. Adam Moore checks in along with Rice Piper for Drury. First of two is good. Drennan Dinkins now with 12 points. Second one by Dinkins, up and good. Under meant to play here in this one. 82 to 65, SP with the lead. Lewis kicks to the corner for a three that is missed by Adam Moore. Crawford gets the ball and a timeout is called by SBU. 42.2 seconds left in the second. Bearcats with an 82 to 65 lead back after this on the GLBC Sports Network. Eighty-two to sixty-five at the score. Forty-two point two seconds left in the second half. Bearcats with the ball out of the timeout called by Coach Clark Sheehy. Both teams now with one timeout left. Drury applying some full court pressure. Quinn Nelson will break into the front court and go to McMillan. He'll back it up. Now Gano to McMillan. Thirteen to shoot. Gano. Splits the double team, finds Dinkins, five to shoot. Dinkins loses the ball into the hands of Trey Lewis, and his reverse layup is missed, put back up and in by Rice Piper. Dinkins gets the inbound and will jog it into the front court, and that will do it. Final score, SBU. 